Brandon here in time for another set of Brandon's Boy Problems. Things are officially over with my Chicago boyfriend. I had the biggest crush on him for years. We had a sexual relationship. We were talking here and there. Only issue was like he lives in Chicago. I'm in Pennsylvania. So like there was distance between us. He also has a boyfriend, which is a complication, but we still were making it work. We still hooked up. We still went on dates. We still saw each other whenever I was in Chicago. I was there for two weeks in February this year. We saw each other multiple times. It's like the most I'd ever seen him in a two week span or even like a year span. But I even had to hang out with him and his boyfriend, which was awkward, especially after he begged me never to tell his boyfriend that he and I hooked up or that he cheated on his boyfriend with me. But I was like, whatever, I don't care. I can keep the secrets. Like, I really did not care. But I mean, I did know it was a like, conditional because I always knew like I know it's a person I am. So I'm kind of just like, I'm not going to keep your secret if you are not holding up your end of the bargain. And honestly, he did not Like we didn't even hook up my last visit. He claimed he was too depressed, but I like don't know if that was the like, actual case or he like, didn't want to tell his boyfriend about us hooking up in case like, well, I guess when we first got together that like, he was cheating on his boyfriend with me. But now I guess they're like officially open. So I guess he has to like get approval or like run everything by his boyfriend and maybe he didn't want to run me by him. I don't know. I don't really care. It's just like a week later is so when my whole cancellation thing happening about all my comments about like not wanting to fuck people with HIV. And then he was one of the people that turned against me. Like he completely ignored me and started ghosting me when I was going through this turmoil. And honestly, it's like, I didn't really care about any of the thousands of hateful messages I was getting online. Cause I'm just like, Again, I'm used to fags hitting me. Like, that's nothing new. I mean, I said what I said. I feel how I feel. Like, I don't feel sorry about anything I said because it's the truth. Like, I'm not sexually or, romantic -ish, sexually or romantically interested in anyone that has HIV. Don't care. Don't care how you feel about it. It is what it is. And he was offended because of my comments. And I kind of feel like he was giving me really much, like, stupid, annoying, like, woke, liberal, like... Oh no, you said something offensive. I want to ostracize you. And again, he's a lying Libra as well. They're like the weakest zodiac sign. Like Libras are just so wishy-washy. It's like, I just don't like people that are very much like, they care so much about what everyone thinks about them, but it's like they don't have their own identity because it's like, they literally just go wherever the wind blows and they're like, I'm this way, this person, I'm this way, that person. It's like, that to me is just very fake and disingenuous because it's like, I'm very much me with everyone in my life. So I'm not all about like, I can't stand people that like change with whoever they're around. Like that's just fake and phony to me. And it's also just why I do not view Libras favorably, or even air signs in general, <laughs> like my least favorite zodiac signs. But whatever, he ignored me to the point where like, it was really pissing me off. Cause it's like, again, I'm going through a crisis. You literally just opened up to me when I was with you in Chicago about your depression, your like fucked up relationship, your fucked up life, your terrible family. Like you opened up to me about everything, but it's like when I'm here needing you as like a shoulder to cry on, even just like a friend or whatever, like I'm not like to cry on, but it's like, I want to know at least you saw, I still have your support when it's like I have all these people turning against me in every angle and direction so it's like very much like who is for me who's against me which is one of the I guess good things that came out of this whole cancellation it's like I really get to see who's fake and phony and who really just needed to be expelled from my life and unfortunately Chicago boyfriend was one of them and like I got pissed that he ignored me for like a week to the point where like I did what any girl does whenever your man is acting up. You blackmail him. Like I just said, you better respond or I'll do something you'll regret. And it's just kind of like, I just don't know why you'd be that stupid to be like, I'm going to ignore you when I'm holding your secrets. Like well, that doesn't make sense to me. If you know people have information on you that they could use against you, why would you intentionally pisses people off like that just doesn't make sense to me and it's not even like it's black man like a crime but like I did message his boyfriend something but he responded before the boyfriend saw it so I unsent the message just in time and then we had a back and forth but then it did get like I mean we talked here and there but then he like obviously didn't want to talk and he was like kind of, like mad I blackmailed him into talking to me but it just was kind of like I didn't give a fuck. It's like, you're already cheating like shit. Like to me, ignoring me is the most rude, disrespectful thing you can do to me. So then that is really gonna make me 
psycho and do whatever I need to do to punish you for it. So it just ended up that way that I had to blackmail. But I mean, like, his boyfriend didn't find out. And then the boyfriend blocked me after. So I was gonna, like, whatever. I guess I never get to tell him I was fucking his man. Even though I don't really care to anyway at this point. And then we had, like, a few weeks later or days later. I don't even know. But Chicago boyfriend and I had, like, a big back and forth blowout where, like, he just confronted me and just said, like, he wouldn't be able to forgive me for my comments I made about pause people or that he has so many pause loved ones. Uh, probably his boyfriend. I don't know his boyfriend's status, but I wouldn't be surprised since he told me he started fucking at like middle school. But like, he just says he has so many paused friends and loved ones and he could never bring me around them. Even if he were able to forgive me, it was just very dramatic, very stupid. Cause I'm just gonna like, if you're not paused, why do you care so much about what I said about like, who I don't have sex with. Like, it doesn't even impact you. And yeah, I said mean, hurtful things. It's like, they said mean, hurtful things to me too. It's like, you want to body shame, make racist comments against me, attack me for my voice or every part of my identity. And I can't say anything about your status that you literally have because of your poor life decisions. Like, that makes no sense to me. It's just why I can't sin this whole stupid liberal, like, woke bullshit. Like, yeah, I'm offended or you triggered me. It's like, I do not give a fuck. Like, get over yourself. We all have things you can be made up fun of for. Like, get the fuck over it. I do not respect people's stupid, sensitive ass feelings. And I don't apologize for that. And now it costs me my Chicago boyfriend. But again, whatever. He was weak. He abandoned me in my time of need. He was very insecure and had like depression and mental illnesses. And it's like, I cannot deal with another fat, insecure, suicidal man. I already dealt with that with my first boyfriend. Like, I do not have the tolerance to deal with your bullshit. And then again, it's like he has a boyfriend, so I'm just kind of like, whatever. I already know he's a cheater. And I've always been like, if a guy cheats with me, I'm not going to ever want to date you because it's like, I already know you're a cheater. I already know you've cheated in like every other relationship you've been in. But again, I went against all my better judgment, caught feelings for this man, and boof, poof, it look, blew up in my face. Just like, I guess it was supposed to. It was obviously never meant to be with me and Chicago boyfriend, even though I felt like there were so many signs we should have been together. Like... He was exactly my type. I was like really definitely attracted to him, like height, weight wise, physically super attracted to him. He was a top, like he claimed to be HIV negative, which is definitely a benefit, but only downside. And also like our moms had the same person last name and our parents were the same zodiac sign. And like we had the same last name. And I thought that was all really cute. And like, we don't even have to change our names if we get married because we both already have the same last name. But never gonna happen. He's deleted, blocked, and erased. Even though before this even happened, he like, after our big blowout fight, he like definitely was hiding his story from me on social media, which I thought was really weak and pathetic. But it's like, you're still following me or we're following each other. And then eventually, after I was in Chicago visiting, he, I didn't even reach out to him at all because we had a bad falling out. But it's kind of like, whatever, I'm gonna give it time. Like, Maybe we just need time to cool off and then be in a better place. And then I saw he unfollowed me on my trip to Chicago. And I was just kind of like, you've still been following me since we fell out like for two months ago. But you unfollowed me when I'm in your city. Like that was just really petty, weak bullshit. Then I confronted him and texted him about it because I cannot ever like turn down a confrontation because I'm just like a very confrontational person. But it just was bullshit. And he was just like fine with saying like, yeah, well maybe we just need to go our separate ways and delete block and erase each other. And like, he had not even just unfollowed me, but he like removed me as a follower. And then that is just my policy is like, if you unfollow me, we were mutually following each other, you're getting blocked. I don't care who you were, how long we were friends, how you were a part of my life, like you're dead to me. And now sadly, Chicago boyfriend is like yet another person dead to me, but all of my betrayals from lovers during my cancellation came from Libras. And it's just another sign that they're the weakest, most pathetic zodiac sign. And I am just not compatible with lying Libras. But thanks for joining me for this episode of Brandon's Boy Problems.